Hi there everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I'd love to share with you my predictions for the week of July 19th, 2020. And I'll be using my Gilded Royale Tarot deck today. And I did want to say that Monday the 20th is a new moon, and new moons are the perfect time for planting new seeds, for new growth in our life, and it starts a new cycle of of um of bringing in it's like a building up of energy so it's a wonderful time to really take a moment to stop to reflect to think about what it is you would like to create in this new moon cycle and it doesn't mean that we have to have these ginormous goals for ourselves and we have to create new universes it could simply be as for this new cycle i would like to have more peace. I'd like to be able to have more times in my day for meditation or personal reflection or to um, uh, resist the impulses that I know that don't serve me. Whatever it is, it's up to you. It's up to us to discern what is emerging as the most important thing for us on our agendas. Alrighty, so let's see. I'm going to pull three from the top and let's see what we have coming up this week. Okay, so for this week, I believe Spirit wants us to not run from our fears. A lot of times we try to avoid the things that make us really uneasy. And this week, Spirit really wants us to pause to look those fears, those worries, those concerns in the eye and address them. Address them. Um, we don't have to dissect them, but address them. What is this about? Okay, if I don't know yet, then let me just put that inquiry out into the universe and we'll see what comes up for me this week. The first card is the nine of, excuse, yes, the nine of swords. This is about fear and allowing those thoughts, the mental um, stressors that we have, it's allowing them to paralyze us. Maybe we're not sleeping well at night. Maybe these concerns are keeping us up at night. Maybe we're... Um, surrounding ourselves with people who are very fearful and have um, lack consciousness. Uh, or maybe we're the one. So, so here, front and center this week, will be our fears, concerns, the things that really keep us in a place of stress and paralyze us. The next card that we have is the Ace of Wands. And the Wands are always about movement. Um, they also represent spirituality and connection with faith and source. And the aces are always a new beginning. So there is deep insight. There's another level that we'll be able to uncover about ourselves, our fears. And, and what spirit wants us to do is to take, take a different stance of looking at the fears as, okay, this is an opportunity for growth, for shifting, and for um, uncovering more in depth of who I am. They're saying that the fears are treasures. There are blessings within the fears because fears often are just built up out of our mind and our emotions and we're creating them into physical form, right? We, we help them manifest. So this week, we're going to see some of the blessings that are tucked within those fears as we address them, okay? And the last card we have is the Knight of Wands reversed. And this is this is a huge movement card, but it's reversed. So we'll we'll be able to connect some of the dots this week with um, with where some of our um, challenges lie, and we'll be able to uncover them. And and as we uncover them and look at them from a different angle, I do think that that's what Spirit is wanting us to do: is to look at these from a different angle. And within that different angle, it will open up a whole other world, a whole other world, a whole other spectrum of possibilities. And there are so many gifts that are waiting for us this week, not just one, but several. All right, so let's look forward to the new moon of planting new seeds, new beginnings, and not be afraid to do so, okay? All right, I'm Lori Baracco. I will see you next week. Namaste.